Hi right, guys, um, today we just came to dig foundation for the new extension from one of our clients. We just finished the digging, basically roughly around 6 by 6 meters and around 1.4, 1.5 meters deep and 50 centimeter wide. And you see it's all the way, all the way is back of the end of the first house, which this is the end of the this house. Basically, it's going to be from here, uh, from I think it's come here, and goes all the way, and it goes roughly at the angle a little bit, and goes to attach to the end of the house. 6x6 six six, as I said and a lot of we remove a lot of soil basically and this is some of the soil being removed because basically a skip company they left us in a, in a mess they didn't deliver the skip and uh, all our guys was digging so we had to basically move the soil here temporarily Separately, and uh, when skip arrive and and we put some outside because one of the skip was full and the guy didn't turn up again, unfortunately. And now the skip turn up, so we just put in the soil in the skip. We're trying to finish and waiting for council to come and check the foundation. And the us go ahead for the next stage, which is pouring concrete, concrete foundation, which I'll uh, I'll try to to update you on that one for the foundation another video, so you can see how it's done, and uh, and in part two basically, and this would this is part one, and part two. But it will be coming in a couple of days. Then tomorrow's basically tomorrow cancels coming to check everything is all right, and then we arrange a concrete guys. So I can't arrange a concrete guys basically because uh, I don't know if the council is going to come. As you know, in UK and different council has got a slightly different rules. So. Uh, when they give us go ahead so I can arrange the concrete guys to come and so then we will be able to pour a concrete so tonight I have to basically calculate how much concrete required because initially we plan to basically dig around 1.1 1 1.2 1.3 now we've gone a little bit deeper so I have to recalculate to see how much concrete required for delivery and then we pour and uh, basically I, I will update you on on uh, part two on the concrete on the part two and the waiting for guys to finish it's now seven o'clock roughly time to go home the guys is gonna finish in ten minutes and continue tomorrow to Okay. Keep tuned and see my other video. And uh, take care. Bye. And if you like, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Um, just as I said, uh, we done the foundation digging, and this is uh, now we put in concrete. We got the ready mix machine here with the pump. Basically, it's pumping the concrete, con concrete through the through the this pipe. That's the pump. Basically, this one is the pump. And this is uh, basically mixing it with a lot of water there. This is water, and this is a shingle, and this is the cement. It's, as it goes, as it's coming out, basically it's mixing. It's, the shingle is coming from here, in this channel.
channel. So uh, angle is moving. We get through this channel. Go here. And a pump. Pump then go through this pipe. Through this pipe. Goes all the way to the back of the house. And it would be around 16 meter cube concrete, which this is going through the digging which we got here. And this is this is it's going through the yeah yeah. It's going through the thing that the little bit foundation is clapped because it was heavy rain a few days ago. But we're gonna fill it back with concrete, which will be better. And concrete, concrete is, is moving. And look, and, and if we're putting concrete. It is concrete is moving. Basically, it's going through the all the way. All the way. And also, again, as I, as I said, because we had a heavy rain last few days, and part of this here is get caved in. But uh, we, because of this, we ordered more concrete, which we fill it with concrete, which would be even better. Even would be better. And uh, I'm gonna show you more. And this is the removed soil which we done, and I explain it in the uh, foundation digging another video which I already uh, uploaded on my channel, Parcel Tube HD. And now, basically, this is going to be full. This is it's going to be basically foundation is going to be through here, coming around corner all the way, and it's this one. And uh, as I said, it would be around 16 meter cube concrete ready mix. We're gonna slowly with the machine. It's gonna fill it up. Concrete is gonna uh, as friends the concrete with the tested metal uh, And look, this concrete is moving. Look, concrete is moving. Moving to the as pump is pumping more. Look. Concrete is coming all the way. Volume would be slowly as it pumps. Push the concrete. Look, moving the concrete like water, but it's a little bit <laughs> much more denser. It's going all the way, all the way until it fills up. And uh, I'm gonna basically stop it in a second because take a few minutes to probably half an hour to an hour until the concrete fills up and and when the fill up a little bit kind of halfway we start using the use the kind of mechanical vibrator which is here which one this one this one basically is gonna vibrate in the ready made concrete to let the air out and uh, dancing the more concrete and uh, increasing the strength of the concrete look so tune in for the final version uh, which it would be in part two pouring concrete part two pouring concrete this is coming this is moving look Concrete is moving all the way, look, going round, round, until it fills up, fills up, and I will update you in the uh, concrete pouring foundation, concrete pouring in part two, so keep tuned, and if you like, uh, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll, I'll upload more video as we go on, thank you very much and all of us thank you okay, this is uh, part two pouring the concrete uh, nearly filled up actually the lorry is run out of the concrete We're waiting for the second lorry to, just to park in it's just around the corner and 
this is needle filler we need a little bit to top it up and second when the second lorry comes ready mix we connect the pump to it and uh, fill up the rest the rest of the concrete and go all around and all around you see to fill the remaining of roughly around half a meter left and we also there's a switch pipe here which made a box to stop the concrete going around the around the pipe there's a pipe here pipe running all the way here through the manhole which we need to basically move this uh, manhole we have to move it later on to the outside outside the wall around roughly around here and also divert all this pipe which actually this extension wall is going to be around roughly exactly around the you see exactly wall is going to be go here so basically we, we need to move all the pipe around the corner to here and then hex and the man manhole from that location is going to come here outside the wall and this is going to have one little door here and this is the lorry which is run out of the concrete second one is going to come and replace that one and we continue pumping the concrete until we fill up the remaining of the foundation and then vibrator is going to release all the bubbles and air, air air pocket out of concrete and this bit is when it's complete basically it's going to hold to this level this is basically foundation this is the foundation level of the old house it's going to go roughly to that level or a little bit more and when it's done we need the concrete you see basically here when we dug out the concrete see the the, the soil gave out because we had a heavy rain and the waters gave away uh, sorry wall gave away because we didn't put any retaining wall or anything like that uh, we didn't expect <laughs> much rain but rain basically destroyed all our calculation and see here here the wall gave away and you can see the crack in the pavement paving sorry paving slab it's going to be filled up and we need to level it and uh, the vibrator mechanical vibrator is going to release all the bubbles and when it's done and level it we leveled it then uh, we wait concrete to set set this is basically pouring concrete part two for our extension in north london and uh, when it's done we wait a few days basically to set set in concrete set nicely and then we need to do delivery all the blocks and also and also contact the builder arrange with builder to the command build the rest of the foundation go all up this was the most difficult part I feel. Very heavy stuff. So when it's done it would be around this is roughly around six meter by six meter, around thirty-six meter square extension. Which, when it's done would be quite nice for our client. So I will update you in part three and four, probably for block when blocking block work is start, block and brick work is start, then it's gonna be see the concrete now. We're going to, the guy is leveling the concrete a little bit. We need top of the little bit more top that that area to come to roughly to ground level, around twenty centimeters. Here would be around half a meter or at the end it would be a little bit more. You see? You see? You see, you see, is uh, a certain, a certain level, level concrete here. Pouring concrete level in. Thanks for watching and keep tuned for the next part. part.
pot three and four for the for break work and rest of the work. Thanks for watching and I'll update you further. Thank you, bye bye. Guys, we just pour the concrete and complete the concrete now this all the foundation following the other two videos for foundation one and two pouring concrete and this is you see all filled up filled up all around and is round see, all the way it's just 0.5 meter wide and by 1.5 deep concrete just uh, we had the concrete ready mix concrete truck with the pump just pump all the things here now after this we can't do anything until the concrete is set ideally we're gonna we're gonna give it a good weight around three to four weeks so if the concrete uh, need to set settle in because it's quite heavy and the soil is going to become more compact underneath and if you're going to get any settlement it's going to have settlement before we put the um, block block wall on top of it so need to, if it needs set it will set and then we do the block wall over it after four weeks if you put it earlier basically if it's set the wall is going to have a crack in the wall but if it's set now, the problem, we wouldn't have that settlement problem and crack on the wall. So, 6 by 6 extension in the back garden in North London is one of our clients. We just finished pouring concrete. And uh, next stage, as I said, is a waiting game to all settlement happen and concrete setting nicely and meanwhile when the setting I need to order material brick work some concrete shingle and everything and uh, get the builder arrange a builder make an appointment with them and so do the rest of the foundation wall and then roof and if I have time I'll, I'll do the video for the walls in part four or five walls probably I'll do one for walls roughly one or two for wall depending how it goes and then one for roof if I have time so keep tuning for more video for next stage or the there's a one video for the digging the foundation and two already for pouring the concrete and this is the finished work of the concrete so keep tuning and stay tuned basically and uh, for other videos for wall and ceiling roof okay take care and if you like the video please subscribe the channel for more thank you bye bye Vallahi sen gene bezer